Holmes was born. Then he got fat, bald, and tired, tired, tired. What's up, Holmes? I'm so excited about it. And I, I'm excited. Actually, now this is actually hitting me. You're making the Adventure Time game, dude. It's amazing. Do you get to do little jakes and stuff like that? Uh, well, uh, I don't know if I'm actually allowed to talk about it then. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry about that. Yeah. I guess we'll change the subject. But uh, mm. let it be announced that I'm really excited that you're making that game because your art is exactly what I always wanted in an Adventure Time game. I'll let you know what Again, I want it to be. I animate. Yeah. Like, uh, your, your I, I, I don't make the base sprites. I work from sprites I'm given. Sure, but your animation yeah. is uh, what I consider sprites. Yeah, I get to make the backsides of sprites. The backsides? <laughs> like the butts? Well, uh, basically, if I'm given a sprite, I'm just going get to get it from one angle. So oh, I'm yeah, going right. to <laughs> yeah. You've got to turn them so their butt is showing yeah. while they're running. Did you work yes, on uh, Alien Infestation as well? That's the DS two D game, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, uh, a little. I uh, did some for the main character, at least, from what I remember, and some weird gorilla alien. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great job. I love all those games a lot. I want to make a three D action adventure game about ice skating. About what? <laughs> ice, ice skating. Yeah, uh, basically a fantasy world about somebody who has to. Uh, skate on ice roads. <laughs> if I'm gonna be more technical. And yeah. what uh would that be the like the central That's... gameplay hook is like how to ice skate well? <laughs> yeah, it's balance. No, um, it's basically just the premise for the game. So oh, gameplay. Okay. Uh, if gameplay is too dependent on uh, the actual setting you created, it can usually be. A little limited, sort of like when you try to design gameplay entirely around realism. I'm not mm. really interested in that. Like, for instance, if you stand uh, next to a wall in a shooter and you have to pull up the gun to you, that's oh, something right. I really dislike because it feels pointless. It just feels like it's there for realism. Right. right I don't know how you feel. <laughs> oh, no, that makes a lot of sense. I think um, Serving fun and gameplay first, and everything else is, is secondary to that. I think story, premise, graphics, everything should be service to what's going to make the game most fun to actually play. Um, and I agree. I think a lot of uh, game designers have, have sort of lost sight of that because there's this push to be the biggest, be the most realistic, be the most impressive by standards that are kind of separate from video game standards. That's the, yeah. A lot of people are going by movie standards or TV standards, but they're not going by gameplay standards, which is, which is what I think video games are, are hopefully about. And uh, it seems to me that you think so, too. I've seen some of your yeah. game talks pretty good. Hmm. My, my game talks? 